This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart moments. We converge to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, better personal life. And I'm your host, Willy Kinyash. And today we want to talk about how to upgrade from a mother to a matriarch. And this is going to be an interesting one. And my big question as we have this conversation is, do you really know the difference between a mother and a matriarch? Because you cannot be able to upgrade, to become something that you are not sure about or you don't have an idea about. So how do you upgrade from a mother to a matriarch? <laughs> you know, really, um, th how this came up is many times we, we are going to also have conversation about men. Mm. Um, we, we, we let's remind people that we are not focused on one gender. We do not address men only. We do not address women only. Mm. Our society is complete, and this show is about all of us. Mm. But we'll be picking a topic that rests squarely mm -hmm. on a certain group. Yes. And we address them there mm. because we are not island. Even when you are a man, you have women around you. When you are a woman, you have men around you. Mm. <laughs> so today we are discussing this subject in this sense. It came up because many times I kept trying to get what was distinguishing these women whose capacity was 10 times, 100 times more than a normal woman's capacity, normal woman's ways of thinking. And I kept trying to piece them together. What I'm giving you today, what I want to show us today is the result of a jigsaw puzzle mm -hmm. that had really bothered me for long. Because whenever we engage in a conversation, some women will give a very different vibe, a very surprising energy. And their, their, their frame of reference is so broad and the deep they, they show so much care to people who it's not their primary responsibility. And it, you, you, you know it's good, but what gives you so much commitment? I finally it unravel. And many times when you are a seeker, when you're trying to learn, you're trying to inquire and ask, uh, you, you reach a point like Daniel. And things defeat you. I've been defeated many times by questions. I still have questions I'm wrestling now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and as far as they're concerned, I'm down. I can't make heads or tails of them. Mm -hmm. and, and all guys who inquire that truth, be it Daniel, my favorite, or, 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 or John the Revelator, when they all came upon these principles that were so overarching, what they knew, he says one of my favorite phrases, because he admitted what I often admit to myself. Mm -hmm. But he lacked strength. He's, he, he, he felt like this is beyond me. Mm. I can't capture it. Mm. I can't understand it. In 1018, Daniel said, again, the one who looked like a man touched me and gave me strength. And he told me, be strong. It, there was more to be shown, but he was, he was already overwhelmed mm -hmm. by, the, by the little he had been shown. Mm -hmm. How many times have you been overwhelmed? By only a fraction mm -hmm. yeah. of what there was mm -hmm. to be shown. So many times I am the capacity. I'm coming with a very small container <laughs> and it is full uh -huh. <laughs> before I have enough mm -hmm. for who I need to go on <laughs> yeah. and feed with. So this is one of the principles that I bumped upon and it is to left my head spinning that it, a mother is what we have heard about. We have Mother's Day. We, have, we call it Mother Earth. We call it Mother Nature. We, we use the word mother a lot. But I came to realize when it, it comes to women and mothering, there are two distinct categories. And it's not just one, an improvement of the other. It's not just a, a we could have said an average mother and a great mother. Mm. <laughs> we could have said a good mother and the best mother. You know, we could have those kind of categories. Mm. But after close examination, these are not both mothers. These are like two species, very differently. The difference is this. A mother that raises a family, usually a nuclear family. 
And when they take care of other children, it, it may be children of their children. Primarily, a mother is responsible for her own children. Mm -hmm. And although we use that wa word general, in a general sense, mm -hmm. the, the responsibilities you have will be those of her own children. So yeah. the difference in a mother and a matriarch is that a mother will be raising a nuclear family, mm -hmm. and a matriarch will be raising a generation. Wow. A matriarch is raising a generation. Yes. That they is why we need to upgrade to... They don't use this language, so I, I must give it to you, so mm -hmm. that you can identify them. Mm -hmm. They use other l terms, but the energy is the same. Once you hear it, you remember this. Mm -hmm. Because it's an energy. Mm. It's an energy. The difference is this, that a mother is, number one, she comes from her own internal resources to bring up children. And when she's a good mother, she raises good children. Mm. Who, uh, who can give the family status, can give the family recognizability. Oh, so this is son and so, daughter of so and so. And so, so uh, from onset, a good mother will raise good children. Mm. But a matriarch raises generational voices. Mm -hmm. A good matriarch, what she will do at the end is to raise a, gener a mother, to raise children who will alter the course of their world in their day. Mm -hmm. And again, because they remain in the backdrop, the matriarchs don't come forward to clap for themselves. They don't, they don't describe their methods. Mm -hmm. And they don't even form a club. Mm. They just recognize each other when they meet. Mm. You, you may never know that we have two different kinds of people who are doing mothering. Right? The other category is a mother is giving birth to children according to her own self-actualization. I wanted three children, so she gets three children. Yeah. A mother is self-actualizing. Mm. Okay? Mm. A matriarch is actualizing a vision, a burden from elsewhere. She's driven by something, not from inside, from somewhere upside. Mm -hmm. All the matriarchs I could count, and I'll give you many examples. By the time I leave you, you'll be counting them on yourself. They are driven by something other than their maternal instinct. Mm -hmm. One of the matriarchs of the world I've ever known was Ma Mother Teresa. Mother Teresa did not have her own children. She was yeah. a Catholic regiment who mm -hmm. just don't have children. Don't. But how, how did we get to call her mother? Mm. She was raising a generation. Mm. She was raising a community. Yeah. She was a mother to a community. The ma matriarchs don't require necessarily for the child to be theirs by blood. But it's all, always their children by heart. Mm -hmm. The children of matriarchs are not always her blood. Mm. Of course, the children of her blood are part of it. But the energy she gives out, she can attach to a child she did not carry in her womb with the same compassion and connection as if it were her own child. Mm -hmm. Matriarch, sometimes they are global people like Mother Teresa. Sometimes they are a woman down there in the village, but Willie is here because of her. True. <laughs> you begin to see it? Mm. They can change your life expecting nothing in return, as if they are driven by something else to help you. Mm -hmm. They go so far to change lives when they have nothing to gain out of it. It's not their child, or even if it's their child, the extent they go is not natural. Mm. Mothers are natural, matriarchs are supernatural. Wow. <laughs> A mother will do family planning, plan her baby and get a child and uh, provide school fees and food. Mm. And the mother does the right thing. We are not underrating. Yes. But matriarchs are on a different scale. The extent which they go to bring forth is unimaginable. Mary, the mother of Jesus, was a matriarch. Mm -hmm. The extent she went when the man had already fallen behind. Mm. You see, if the guy has been killed, men will not bother following up on him. Mm. It's okay, we have done the burial. Yeah. It's okay, now we can try to... Let's heal <laughs> and move on. <laughs> so Joseph was not following after, uh, after you know. Mm. But the mother comes with perfume. Why do you want to perfume on dead body? <laughs> <laughs> S 
something in her was saying he said he would resurrect and somehow i believe it see it was not her first time to hear extraordinary things mm. she had had pregnancy when she was a virgin she had had an experience from pregnancy of the child mm -hmm. and she knew something about him is not natural yeah after all there's a time i was told i would find myself pregnant mm -hmm. and my fiance joseph was told the same with the time we have had other children like james and jude those are other brothers jesus and it's it, uh, something about the story of my firstborn is divine mm -hmm. but you can't keep telling people that mm -hmm. there's a lot of grief seeing your son being dead so magdalene mary come escort me mm -hmm. and they go matriarchs can continue hope against hope You do not go to carry ointment to a dead body unless your hope is elsewhere. Mm. Why, if you want to ask why I'm using mother and not father and patriarch, because the other side is father and patriarch. Mm. I'm using mother and matriarch. Because I had seen the pattern used a lot by the creator. He said, a cry was heard in Rama. Cry was, cry was heard when Rachel was crying because her children are killed and she refuses to be consoled because they are not. Rachel was being used as a mother crying for her babies after Jesus was born and the king was killing babies to eliminate that baby who looks like he will be the next king, like a threat. Many times the people who cry at childbirth is a mother. So I'm using the mother because they're the ones who connect so internally mm. and deeply. So we are describing the difference, then I'll tell you how to upgrade. Mm -hmm. because it's a matter of choice it's not predestination again a mother bears children with her womb a matriarch bears generations generational voices with her heart yeah. she just she begets you not at the maternity ward the normal mother will bear children on her knees and from her body mm -hmm. a matriarch will bear the child the voice, the hero will rescue from her heart. She fills you inside her heart. Mm. And there was a time two women were married to the same man, the madness of polygamy. And the strife of polygamy was there as usual. Polygamy is always followed by strife. So you see Penina having children like a mother children and building the family for her husband and but Hannah is unable to get a child mm. many times for God to upgrade women for mothering to matriarch it took pain mm. they had to be pushed to pain to upgrade mm. so I want to tell you the difference after the fruits of mothering are done a good family is established yeah when a mother has done her good job there's a good family mm. decent children well behaved mm. well mannered mm. Or well mothered. Mm -hmm. Even if some choose the other way, you would know the mother did her, her job well. Right. Yeah. When a matriarch is done with her job, a generation is shepherded. Wow. There are shepherds for that generation. There are incubators for talents, mm. for possibilities, saved lives. Mm. She breathed hope and spoke courage to people who to this day her words became the compass to find the way she is a living light although she is covered in a normal human body be careful there are people among us who are more angelic than human mm -hmm. and they are among us mm -hmm. because the Israelites don't realize what I've said in that day they ended up killing one of them who was a god among men he is still doing that. The man they killed. He is still incarnating himself in people. Mm. And if you become sensitive, sometimes people tell you words that are so life-saving and life-giving and courage. You know that's not human. Have you had people calm you in a way mm. when you are so yeah. troubled and depressed Yes. and just two words on phone and they don't know your situation with accuracy. But the way they cured you with accuracy, that can't be human. Mm. <laughs> They talk somewhere on a radio and suddenly you revive. They give you life. Yes. Matriarchs are more like 
angel incarnates, like God in disguise, mm -hmm. when they nurture how they mother you, when you look back, you may say, I don't want to say that person is very holy or they are sinless. I don't want to say a lot of things. But what they did to me was more godlike than human. Mm -hmm. When you look back, a short brush with a matriarch changes your life. Yes. They give you a push forward. So far that looking back, you're not going to climb that thing on your own. Mm -hmm. The one thing with matriarchs, Hannah was pushed by tears to switch. She kept saying, give me children so that I can prove I'm also fertile. You know, they're laughing at me, they ridicule me. Now my husband is even ignoring me. Look, I don't, I have so many children and now even me, give me a child. Mm -hmm. For as long as she was praying mother's prayers, the heaven did not respond. Mm. There's a place for self-actualization, but as long as it's self, it's your mission, mm. you remain a mother. Yeah. <laughs> you may get children, many people get children naturally, but natural children remain natural people. Mm. Okay? Yeah. Ordinary children remain ordinary children. people. Yes, mm. they grow at ordinary people. They make mm. ordinary mother. Mm. That's why we have millions of people and you don't know them. Mm. They are ordinary. Yeah. <laughs> They're just trying to make a living and pass through life. Mm. I give you my philosophical um, speculation. That the reason we are so many on earth is because all of us settled to normalcy. And the one who is sending the mission is saying the harvest is so ready. I don't have harvesters. He's still trying, trying, sending him out to see how many will switch up. Mm. The difference between Penina and Hannah was when finally she said, when you give me the son, I'll give, it, give him back to you. That made the difference. Now, she did the first condition of switching from mother to matriarch. Yeah. Stop owning your children. Say that again. <laughs> Stop owning your children as if they were your projects, mm -hmm. your possessions, uh, your alter ego carrying your name out there. Mm. Like it's the, the, the fulfillment of your wishes and you want to brag of how good they are. You see what a good mother I am. You see how beautiful mm. they are. You see see what a good job I did. Mm -hmm. Many times we take our children like that. Yeah. And they remain ordinary children. Mm. We become as ordinary as them. Mm -hmm. When Isaiah used that word, it shocked me. I realized, ah, so it's a true thing. Isaiah said, me and my children, the children God has given me, we are for signs and wonders. Mm. And for truth, one of his children was named after the phenomenon of that day. And he would carry the boy going to carry out his missions because the name of the boy was part of the message. Mm -hmm. Isaiah had already switched up. Mm. When you come to men, I'll tell you that. Ours is like patriarch. But we don't just become patriarch, become a shepherd. When you're just a father, you father your own. Mm. When you're a shepherd, you lead the way for a whole group. Yes. And that's what I'll be telling us. And that's what El El Isaiah did. Mm -hmm. For women, <coughs> the first switch is what Hannah said. I no longer want, don't give me a, a child to prove a point. Mm -hmm. <sighs> it's okay. I think you need something done in your work. Yes. And I think you brought me here at this season in this life mm -hmm. so that I can bring, I can partner with you mm -hmm. to carry out the mission you had yes. because you brought me here and you bring my children now i align with what you wanted mm. suddenly he was given that she was given the child yes unfortunately after that she stopped praying those kind of prayer so we don't know any of our children <laughs> <laughs> some people play that triag only at a time when they were in need yes and then they relax uh -huh. so yes he went to the boy and he went on to be now we know that the one who is sending you has needs, a mission, and a plan. He has position mm. in his army that mm. need to be filled up. Mm. And he wanted people to stand in formation. But what are we doing? We just want, no, I have my life. Let me go live my life. Mm. Just give me safety. Just bless me. I go live my life. Mm -hmm. The first switch up is that stop seeing as if things are surrounded around you. Now, the Maslow's hierarchy of needs, it's a pyramid where Abraham Maslow throw uh, Maslow's drill according to what makes you fulfilled. At the bottom, they are just survival needs, food, then the shelter, clothing, security, basic needs. Mm -hmm. Things like housing, food, clothing, those are the bottom. Many of us start there. Everybody must start there to secure that. 
But at the apex, the reason it's a pyramid is because few get there. Many people stay at the bottom, where they're just working for a living, for food, for shelter, for bills. Remember when you just have a job, somebody abbreviated the job as just over broke. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm. Many people have a job, but they're just over broke. broke. <laughs> <laughs> just like, <laughs> they're almost broke, but... <laughs> yes. Many people stay at the survival. Many people will stay at instinct. Many of us stay at, I have a child, I have two children. Mm. I'm good. Yes. Mm. The next need up there was self-actualization. Many people stay with the children for self-actualization. They get children to prove that they are women, they are women enough, fertile. Even there back then, society would ostracize and give names to a woman who is not getting children, who is taking too long to get children. Mm -hmm. They would label and ostracize and accuse and this and the other. Mm. It was a, as if a child was about you. If you do not outgrow that Maslow's hierarchy of putting a child as if it's part of your building, your personality and your fulfillment in life, mm -hmm. it remains around you, just centered around you. The apex of that Maslow's is talking about things like when you have self-actualized, you've seen people have enough money, they're still running for political office. Mm -hmm. They have enough money. Yeah. Some even refuse the salary. Mm -hmm. They say, I don't need it. Mm. So why are you taking a job? Mm -hmm. It's to feel like they have attained the apex of self-actualization of their self-existence. Mm -hmm. It is driven by self, mm -hmm. by what they want. For as long as you see the child is the apex of your self-actualization, it will remain your drama. Oh. It remains around you. Remain mm. a mother. Mm. You remain a mother. So after Hannah had won the contest, got in a child now, finally, me, even me too, I'm a woman enough. Mm. <laughs> I can live. <laughs> she got other children, but we don't know their names because mm. there were no more children. Mm. You get them ordinarily, they remain ordinary. ordinary yes. Remember that. Mm. You can't get extraordinary children when you are just an ordinary mother. Yes. Again, a mother gets children, a matriarch gets a generation. Yeah. How a generation the campuses, the, the, the people who show the way, the light, they bath the stars. What a matriarch brings forth is light, is the reference for direction. Mm. I want you to remember that a society rises or falls according to how many role models it has. There's as enough light as there are stars in that day. There is enough darkness. Yeah, there are missing stars. The lights you have in the house determine how bright it is. True or false? True. The lights, somebody must put lights for there to be brightness. Mm. For there to be, to be able to see. Mm. The matriarch brings light for the generation. So the first condition is stop seeing children as a source of self-actualization. See them as you are a partner in a larger mission to show the generation the way. The second thing, stop teaching local values. Teach global values. Many people instill in their children local values. Mm -hmm. Study well, get a job, secure. Mm -hmm. Now raise other children, do the same. Yeah. <laughs> local values. Okay. Find a way to always have savings and, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. buy a house. And when you teach survival, they'll become survivors like yourself. Uh -huh. Don't teach survival, teach soaring. Mm. Both are facing the same direction. It's where they settle. One settles as safety. Mm. The other one settles as success. Wow. Aims at success. What was Steve Jobs hearing throughout? Hearing throughout. And you are aware Steve Jobs was not raised by the biological mother. Mm. It was adoptive parents. Mm. And he, was, he dropped out of college out of mercy. College was expensive. He did not like the course he was studying. It was exhausting his adopted parents' savings. Mm. And he had these values, parents had put, that you have something you can unleash to the world. You can do it. The mother of Elon Musk explaining, saying, the boy was inquisitive and I did not discourage it. Many mothers are, get tired with too many questions. Mm. This mother could see a light trying to come out, trying to come out, and would engage the boy very young, two years, three years. 
asking consistency questions. No, yesterday we passed here. Why did we pass here today? Mm -hmm. Yesterday we used this. Why are we sitting here? But you say it the other day. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Mm. And she said, the boy was inquisitive and I decided to indulge it. Mm -hmm. The mother of T.D. Jakes did the same. Mm. She used to listen to him so keenly until he began to think he speaks very deep points. That's why mom is paying attention. Yeah. Later on, mom told, I was not listening to you because you were saying anything. Mm -hmm. I was listening to you teaching you how to respect your own voice, your own thoughts. Yeah. She was instilling what matriarchs instill. Mm -hmm. The first thing a matriarch instills is aim at unleashing your gifts to your generation. Wow. You are a gift in your generation. Don't die with it packed. Unpack it. Mm -hmm. Unpack that gift, let it shine in your generation. And the mother cannot do that. They are focusing on to compete with whoever. And mm. Many sometimes the mothers are just myopic, looking this way. Mm. When you are just raising children, you are looking here. Because they are younger, they are down there, you are trying to look out for them. When you are a matriarch, you are looking up there. Mm. Mm. Where the contest is. Where the global conversation is happening. Where the contest is happening. You are shooting them there. It takes a lot of courage to dare to release your child to go to Australia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you must be very selfless. You think it's an easy thing? Until you try it. Mm -hmm. To see your child on a plane and takes off? Yeah. My friend. Uh, you feel like a part of you is going... <laughs> <laughs> yes. But when you realize this is not my possession. I was just a custodian. I was supposed to prepare it and release it to fly. Let them rise to where the conversation of their generation happening. Let them go have release their gift there. I was just the P.O. box mm -hmm. through which this package of this generation arrived. I, it's not mine. Mm -hmm. I was just a messenger. Mm -hmm. A matriarch does not own her children. She's just a messenger to deliver them to where they belong. And she'll say, my work is well done. And she'll say like Hannah. She'll say like... Um, Simon, they stayed in the temple until they saw the baby and said, now I can rest in peace. Mm. I have fulfilled my mission. Yeah. Really, don't cling to your children all your life. They are not yours. They are not yours. Prepare them perfectly. Mm. Then release them. And start watching the exchange in the, battle, in the battles of the world. As they participate there, give whatever morale you can. But don't you think they belong to your space? Mm. In fact, Many people were not born to be known and famous. They were born to bring the solution through the child to this world. We are all thankful to the mother of Elon Musk yeah. for bringing that son that way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he can revolutionize the motoring industry. Teach us that we can explore outside there. The other thing, so we say, teach global values, not just local values. Mm -hmm. Don't teach local success, teach global soaring. Tell them about the gift that is an answer to this generation. Yes. And even if they are going to be a kindergarten teacher, when they teach you that perspective, you hear them be recognized globally. You remember a normal teacher was mm, recognized globally. Yeah, yeah. The, he was teaching with a heart. He was mm. not just teaching with a head and a, mm. and a chalk. Mm. He was teaching with a heart and all that he had. He was pouring himself to the students so much that the whole world say, he is a role model. Mm. Now, the last thing we are saying is, make your home an incubation ground, mm -hmm. not a cage. Mm -hmm. No more mothers protect and close you in so that you're not, don't go out there. Do. It's okay to protect, there's a place for safety, but it should be a, a brooding ground for greatness. How do you do that? You make, you make library, library, I'll just give you two things that you know, whether you're a mother or matriarch and what you want to switch into. Mm -hmm. A home that is just a living place has a bedroom and a sitting room and a kitchen. Mm -hmm. This is not about economics and how much money we have. It's about purpose. Because the same room you can be used for several purposes, isn't it? Yes. A home that is in incubation has one, a library. Uh -huh. And you make it so important. Working space for learning, for working on the mind. And it has a prayer room where people work on themselves. Where people can talk to divine. Where people can download visions, can download dreams. And you make it ordinary. Many homes that when they are big compound, they usually make a chapel or some place. Mm. A family chapel of sort. Mm. But when you are young, when you are growing, you can just make it a room. Mm. A room somewhere. And we, we said, really, we are not debating whether you are going to build your own home. Mm. You can't live on concrete yes. without seeing the moon. Yeah, without seeing stars. stars. 
Mm -hmm. No seeing nature. Mm. You can't be imaginative in such a tiny Your brain works in a very funny way. It adopts the space you put it into. Mm. So if you are just around four walls, that's all the imagination you'll ever have. Mm. You are put in a box, matatu, to take you to another box, mm -hmm. office. Then you put another box to take you to another box where you live. Boxes, boxes, boxed, boxed, boxed. Box after box. You can't rest. Your home cannot be a box. <laughs> it must be a place where they can see horizons and clouds. And see air airplanes passing and dream. So three facilities will be in your home if you are a matriarch. Library. Very good. Prayer room. room. And open skies. Wow. <laughs> skies they can see. Sometimes you don't need to sleep. Sometimes dreams are racing in you. And you can't sleep. So what do you do? You go outside and you lie down. In the quiet of the night, you do what Abraham was told. Raise your eyes. And what do you see? All those stars. That's how your future looks like. You will let your children know that they shall be what they see. So you facilitate them to see in the library. They interact with the minds of 200 years back, 300 years back. They see classical principles that they don't have enough life to live, to learn on their own. And we say, when you want wisdom, some principles that are, are so elaborate to find them on your own, you'll be dead before you complete them. So get somebody to put them in one piece. Ingest, let them ingest eternal principles and then let them converse with who has sent them in prayer room and then let them go out in the skies and let them dream and then let them take off and fly. Your home now is an airport. Mm. It's not a cave. Yes. Now it's an airstrip. Now that's where their dreams land. That's where they take off with their dreams. That's where airport, they don't want obstacles above them. Even the space nearby should not have tall buildings. Mm -hmm. When they want to fly, they don't want obstacles. Mm. <laughs> they clear the area around. Mm. And I like to imagine the airport because they always put it slightly outside the city. Yeah. Because there are too many tall buildings inside here. Mm -hmm. And then they put rules. You can't build high here. Yes. Even neighbors mm. are restricted. Yes. <laughs> In case our airplane wants to start landing from far, mm -hmm. you should not obstruct it. Remove obstacles. Remove this concrete slicing where we slice each other and box, 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 box. Give them dreaming space. Your mind can only dream when it can do what he was told. Come out of the tent, Abraham, and look. What do you see? I see stars. Let your children see stars of previous generation. Stars of innovation. Stars in marathon. Stars in every, in every achievement. Let them see stars. Mm -hmm. And then let them also see the star of the tribe of David, let them see the one who sent them, designed them. Let them inquire, why was I born now and not 100 years back or 100 years to come? My timing has a, a reason. There is something I need to deliver. The one who downloaded me will download to me my blueprint. Remember, you can only take people where you're coming from when you are rooted. That's when you can take us back to our roots. The reason we are lost is because we are following lost people. Let your children find themselves in their center. And then when they go to the city square of their generation, the argument point of their generation, you, you know generations have their conversation points. Facebook generation talks around Facebook. Mm. Instagram generation gathers around Instagram. Mm. Twitter generation, <laughs> Tumblr, yeah. mm. <laughs> TikTok. Generations have their conversation points. Mm. And they go there by age groups. Yes. That's where they gather. Mm. You remember from one said their own life, from two yeah. generation-wise. Mm. When they go to their conversation point, their generation, they're speaking from an anchored point. And they may not swear by you. They don't swear by, oh, my dad is the best in the world. They swear by where you positioned them. Yes. You are not. The, you don't run the show of their life. You help them run their own show with the one who downloaded them. They acknowledge you, but your comment has always been, pay it forward. Do to your children, do to your generation what I did to you. So, matriarch is a scope. It's a scale. It's a heart. And to tell you the truth, somebody said, some of the most... Gen Decorated generals that shall be recognized at the last day are not famous. Mm. I believe they were referring to matriarchs and fathers who are raising giants quietly. Personally, I'm a, a fruit of a matriarch. A mother who I was not her child, 
She just happened to be teaching in the school I was in, and she took a liking of me and started calling out the star in me. Started calling me degree. Her nickname for me was degree. Wow. Because a degree in that village was a big issue because degrees are not there. They're mm. very rare. Yeah. But she started calling me degree, mm. giving me leadership, mm. defending me when ch kids are bullying me, yeah. silencing teachers who hated me, defending me like this, defending me like this. Today, my brother, I'm here because of a mate. I have a mother who loves me much, who contributed a lot to my growth, but my mother alone couldn't have bro brought me up. There was another mate who was positioned. And I remember a time she get crashed to my home to convince my father to take me to secondary school because my father was not paying fees for anyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Because she was the wife of a magistrate and th th she was feared. Uh -huh. Because my father is a lawbreaker, he's selling illicit brew. <laughs> and the government has come. Uh -huh. and they are not coming to arrest him. They are uh -huh. just saying one condition. Yes. Take your kid to school. Sorry. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I will not Yes, I will. So he res she used her position to champion for me. Wow. Champion for me. Champion for me. And to this day, I always tell people I have two mothers. Uh -huh. When that mother has anything, I am as good as her sons. Mm. When you find us there, you want to differentiate whether I am not. Because in no sense, I am because of her. Mm. And every time I pass by there, I feel like I've gone home. Gone home. Just I go there and go home. And I am today because of her. That's why it is so much... I, it troubled me what is in her and other mothers of that kind that Paul would write and say, greet my mothers. Paul sending to other mothers and mentioning names. What? Was that just a compliment? No. no. <laughs> I was talking about the kind of investment they did incubated you to who you are. To conclude, to say, you become a matriarch when you st stop owning your children and your motherhood. You become a matriarch when you transit from just my me, self-actualization, me, to show Penina that I can also get children, to <sighs> by the calendar of the sender, where we would as want. Align me with that. Show me my position, I'll stand there. Mm -hmm. Stop getting children for yourself. Get children for your generation. Ask the need of that day. The next thing, don't teach values that are local, and confined in family. Teach values that are global. Show them, you know, there's something called global warming and we're still troubled by it. Mm. We have not yet found a solution for HIV. Mm. Continue reading. Who knows? Who knows mm. that you carry the answer? Yes. Throw the suggestions randomly. My mother would, would use figurative language. She was very prayerful. My mother, if it's one of my mother, I would not have gone to any school. Heavy destinies are not carried by one person. Mm. It took two mothers to carry me. Yes. <laughs> it took two Heavy destinies are heavy things. Mm. When you have a destiny, there was one guy who was so sick, it took four guys to carry him to where the healer was, and they could not pass through the door because the bed is too big. Mm. <laughs> and, and people are many. Mm -hmm. So they actually destroyed somebody's house. Yes. And say, it's okay, we'll repair. <laughs> what we do? <laughs> we only need these guys Sometimes to get to the healer. to get to what you needed. Yes. It took four people. Mm. You are so sick. Mm. <laughs> it takes four people to say the last thing you do so the second thing is don't teach local values teach global values teach groundedness in scripture is it only a coincidence that that abraham lincoln says everything i am i owe to my mother presidents mighty people they always reference their mothers because they were matriarchs and lastly to say make your home an incubation point for greatness not a survival cage Mm. Inspired by poverty and lack, mm -hmm. mediocrity, mm. concrete slices. Me, I'm on slice number four. Slice number five. <laughs> <laughs> and we live in a box. <laughs> four walls. Four walls. We work in four walls. We travel in four walls. Go back to four walls. Open the heavens for your children. Let them to look up and ask them, what do you see? I see a lot of stars. You are one of them. Yes. Wow. Thank you so much. Where else can you get such wisdom? It is only on the Benjamin Zulu show. Question. Are you a mother or a matriarch? Are you raising just ordinary children? Or do you want to raise a generation? It is up to you. Now, you are wiser. You have gotten the tips, 
how to become a matriarch. What will you do with this information? Thank you so much for joining in. My name is Willy Kinyash. This is the Benjamin Zulu Global. Welcome our viewers from all over the world to the home of the heart matters. We are converging to learn together because when you know better, you can do better. And a better life is what we all want. Better work life, better family life, better